What's the funniest Willie Mays story I have for you? Stick around and find out. Let's get to it. All right, welcome to the third episode of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're getting all the new content we're going to be putting out here. And of course, check out the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Uh, tons of new stuff going up on there all the time. Um, a couple topics we're going to be discussing today. Uh, number one is framing. Uh, that seems to be a very popular topic lately. And some of the questions surrounding there is, you know, uh, uh, where do I get framing done? What does it cost? How much should I spend? What should I get framed? What's UV protective glass? So some of these are real basic topics, but we're going to touch on them all real quick here. Uh, Baker Mayfield blowing it up a little bit. I say blowing it up. He went 11 for 20 in a preseason game, but uh, that's blowing it up in my book. So his collectibles are on the rise. You know, he's that guy, man. I, I put a big bet behind Baker, and he's 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 turning out okay. So stoked to see him doing some good things. And lastly, I'll touch on is my uh, my all time favorite Willie Mays story. This one is uh, this one is golden Willie Mays. And if you've never met Willie Mays, I think um, I think you're missing out. But uh, if you have met Willie Mays, this story will make sense to you. So. We'll get to that uh, in just a little bit here. So let's start off with framing. Um, what should you be getting framed? Where should you be getting your stuff framed? How much should you be spending? Uh, personally, for me, it depends on what you were doing. Let's start off with jerseys. Uh, jerseys, how much should they cost you to get framed? In my opinion, uh, jerseys should be somewhere around the three to $400 range, possibly less, depending on what you want to do. Again, it, this is very, very dependent on the options that you are choosing. If you are just choosing a bare essentials frame, yeah, you can probably get that for about 200 bucks shipped to you. But if you want something with a mahogany frame, UV protective glass, maybe some suede matting, maybe some extra photo cutouts there, uh, now you're getting up to the $300 range or so. And that's something that's like a ship price to you. So uh, there are many companies out there that can do that for you. Uh, I can also do it, uh, the framing for you as well. But if, you wanted, if you're kind of a uh, do-it-yourself kind of person, uh, Hobby Lobby is a great, great resource for you. Hobby Lobby uh, for framing has uh, you know, pre-cut frames for 8x10s, 11x14s, 16x20s. Pretty sure you can put together a pretty decent frame for 8x10s for about uh, 20 bucks or so. 16x20s, uh, uh, you know, in the $40 range or so. So it just depends on what you want to do. If you're looking for bare essential stuff, you know, Hobby Lobby is, is probably the best resource for you. I'm not a huge fan of Michaels, but um, I just have a preference for Hobby Lobby. I think they just have a bigger selection and uh, the prices are just rock bottom there. I mean, it makes you think, how do these people make any money, you know? But uh, they must know what they're doing. So they've been, uh, they've been in business a long time. So that's the best resource for you. UV protective glass, do you need to have it? Uh, no, you don't need to have anything, but you know, it, it's super nice to have protection over your autographs. Uh, UV, UV protective glass can keep up to 97% of harmful lights out of your photo okay so that's what this glass will do for you it doesn't 100 percent protect an autograph okay it's not going to do that so there are a couple tips that you can go beyond further with the uv protective glass to make sure that your autographs do not fade or you protect them as best you can uh, number one is obviously the uv protective glass number two is to keep them out of direct sunlight okay so if you've got a window that is over here on the left you don't want your autographs on the right facing that window okay so you want to keep them on the side of the window so that way they're out of direct sunlight okay obviously they're going to be getting a little bit of light rays that way but uh, it's not getting that direct beaten sunlight i remember we used to uh, when i worked for the company out in california we had a store uh, front there and we used to put collectibles in there all the time like these panoramic photos and it was literally like three weeks and they would just be warped, like just wavy lines everywhere. And it just looked like crap. So the sun will be, sun will be quick. It'll take, it'll, it'll beat your stuff up very, very fast. So, uh, also you want to make sure you store it in a kind of a room temperature, uh, room, I guess you should say. So like a basement is always a great, great selection. I wouldn't st uh, store them, you know, on the upstairs part of a house that tends to be kind of like the warmest part in the summertime. So something that's just kind of even keel throughout the entire year. 
Uh, basements are always a great option, but some of you don't have basements, so usually on a on a main floor is, is usually a good place to go. So uh, that's the t touch base on the framing there. One thing I'm gonna say is uh, make sure you do not overspend on framing. It's so easy to do. I remember when, uh, going back to the store in California, we used to do framing and we would charge you know, like basic framing like 500 bucks. And don't get me wrong, we did really, really quality work. Uh, we were more of a higher end frame shop, I guess. And what I mean by that is the, the, the type of materials that we used and uh, our framing quality was just phenomenal. Like we just, we could do so many different type of layouts and, and come up with stuff that was it, was, it was well worth your money, don't get me wrong. But it's not something that's necessarily required for every single job, right? So we can just do a basic frame for that Dak Prescott jersey. We don't need to do something extravagant. Now, if you've got like a Mickey Mantle jersey where you wanna use some acid-free matting, that's another good tip to use. You also wanna use UV protective glass and you wanna do a nice mahogany and suede, put like a Yankee blue suede, then yeah, you know what? You spent $5,000 on a jersey or whatever you spent, make sure you spend some good money on that jersey. So it's just like the video that I did on whether you get an authentic or a replica helmet, you know? I mean, the more expensive the autograph, you wanna get an authentic helmet, not necessarily get it on a, uh, a replica, so. Um, framing is always a really good topic. I got so many questions on that. And uh, if you guys have any questions on that, always give me a holler. So uh, let's lead into a Baker Mayfield. Like I said, 11 for 20 versus the Giants, couple touchdowns. Um, you know, he did that uh, second autograph signing was what, mid-June out in Los Angeles there. Got a bunch of stuff from him, uh, Beckett authenticated items and, and some footballs and OU stuff. And his OU stuff is definitely selling better than his Brown stuff, that's for sure. Uh, you know, obviously having stuff with the Heisman inscription is always, it's always sexy, you know, so. Um, but the Brown stuff is picking up, you know. Brown stuff is starting to pick up a little bit. The mini helmets, uh, NFL rep footballs are a great one. I got those at 139. I mean, that is just, I mean, if they, if they pick up a little bit of steam, these Browns, you know, if they get, uh, I don't know. I think if they get six to eight wins this year, I think that would be uh, like winning the Super Bowl for Cleveland. I don't know. I, I think that's going to be a really good goal for them. Now, granted, Baker's not starting off as the you know starting quarterback, but hey, we know what's going to happen with Tyrod Taylor. You know, something bad is going to happen. And they're going to stink it up, and, and he's going to come in and, and hopefully do really well. So um, keep an eye out for some, some Baker Mayfield stuff uh, being up on the rise a little bit. I think he's going to be one of those guys down the road that you're going to look at and be like like Trout was, you know, not to say he's Mike Trout, don't get me wrong, but Trout was one of those guys that was like like $60, $70 an autograph when he first came out, you know, and and I remember I had an opportunity with Trout to pick up like baseballs, like I had an opportunity to get like 72 of them for like $45 each, like MLB authenticated ones, and I just, I did, couldn't pull the trigger, so I was like, well, so what if you rinse the rookie of the year, I mean, I can't. What am I going to do with 72 baseballs of the guy, you know? But uh, uh, Baker's going to be one of those guys. He just he just got that 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 style about him and uh, that winning attitude that uh, players like to be around and fans love. And he's just got that confidence that people just want to be around and try to get that by osmosis. So I hope it really, really works out for him. I know a ton of Oklahoma fans are going to be missing him this year. But the Browns are going to hopefully get a little bit of talent around him and uh, and get to that six to eight wins this year. We all know that second year is really when you know uh, that rookie quarterback is going to be taken off and get a full year under their belt and and really understand what the NFL is all about. So um, good stuff there for Baker, man. I hope it goes out well. So uh, last topic of the show today is Willie Mays. Now Willie is a character, okay. And I mean that in a good way. Like, I like Willie, okay? We, uh, <laughs> going back to the store in California that we had, we did a autograph signing with Mr. Mays. Uh, I forget, this was probably 12 to 14 years ago. Yeah, at least that, good chunk of it. And he hadn't done a signing in a long, long, long time. So this was a huge deal. We had him at our uh, Walnut Creek store for this one. And Willie was charging a lot. Like it was 700 bucks to sign a jersey. Like baseballs were 200 or something like that. And I still remember one guy going through the line. And for some odd reason, he this guy called me a couple days after the signing to complain. He's like, Willie just would not sign my baseball in a blue sharp, in a blue pen. He signed it in a black sharpie. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. 
Oh no, why, why did he do that? We had him sign a bunch of them in Sharpie. I don't know, I have no idea why. And we ended up putting them in shadow boxes and they actually looked pretty good because the black signature actually kind of popped out there a little bit. I don't know what those shadow boxes look like now. I'm not sure I want to know. But we had like a hundred balls from Willie Mays with Sharpies on them. And uh, I think Willie just, I think Willie just likes signing with a Sharpie. I think it's just, he could see it, you know, and he wasn't in great health back then. I can only imagine when he was like now, but uh, he was, he was, he was fun. So the story goes like this. There's a guy who comes in and I didn't know he was going to be at the signing, but he comes in beforehand and he, Willie's done signing and he, he, he's got something expensive that he wants Willie to sign. Okay. So he tells Willie a little bit about it and he goes out and gets the item. He brings it in and it's this, uh, it's this painting of Willie Mays. Okay. And the guy is a super fan and he's just talking to Willie and he's saying, Willie, you know, I'm a super fan of yours. I, I've, I've watched you since you were, you know, uh, out in New York there and, and you're just, you're just, you're the guy, like you're my guy. Like I am the, your, your fan. And he's kind of sucking up to Willie a little bit and, and Willie of course is enjoying it. And, um, and he tells Willie, listen, I'd be really, really honored if you would sign my painting here. And uh, Willie is, of course, Willie of course will sign anything, okay, but for a price, you know. And so Willie didn't really have a price point for stuff like this, you know. Willie just kind of shoots from the hip on it. And, and the guy says, well, Mr. Mays, uh, you know, if you were to sign this, how much would you charge me to sign this? And Willie, with the straightest face, looks to the guy and says, how much you got? <laughs> and, and we just, just so fluid in like, like, like these people had known each other for their entire lives, you know, how much you got? You know, and, and, and the guy pauses, and I'll never forget this, guy pauses and he knows that it's gonna be expensive at that point, you know? And he's like, oh, Mr. Mays, would you, uh, would you take 2,500 for it? And Willie kind of thinks about it a little bit and he goes, uh, how about 3,500? And the guy, of course, is, the guy is stuck at this point because this is his only chance to get this thing signed. Only, to, this thing was huge. It must've been, oh my gosh, uh, six feet by six feet or something like that. Like, You're not shipping this thing anywhere. And uh, he, he mulls it over for a second. He goes, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and of course, Willie signs, I think, in the bottom left there. And it, it looked good. The guy was happy. And, um, but what was funny about it is I think, if I remember correctly, I think we were doing the signing almost at cost. I'm pretty sure about that. Because it, it was a big promo for the store and just getting people in the door. So we did like a $3,500 deal for Willie. And then we got hit with the, the credit card charges on top of that. And I mean, you're looking at what three percent. So we lost like a hundred dollars on that whole that whole deal, just so this guy could get his painting done. So, but it was a super cool signing. It really was. Uh, I wish I wish we could go back and do that one again. Um, just the amount of uh, intensity in the signing. You know what I mean by that is customers just like wanting to get their items like perfectly done and, and want to talk to Willie and. It wasn't just a casual like, hey, let's go meet, you know, the new rookie, you know, like this was a serious signing, you know, like freaking Willie Mays was there, you know. I mean, this guy, if you're not from the barrier like I am, I mean, Willie Mays is it. Like Joe Montana's way up there, don't get me wrong, but uh, for baseball related stuff, Willie Mays is the top of the echelon. And um, the signing went really well. Willie got paid goobs about a money, I think. Uh, I have no idea what the total amount he got paid was, but it was—it must have been the six figures. So, um, I'm glad that we sold all those Sharpie baseballs too. Man, those are. Uh, <laughs> and I think going back to those real quick, I think what happened was is we like found these balls after the signing. Like, like somehow somebody wasn't paying attention, or you know, some new person that was working in the store was was watching him while he was doing this, and like everybody's like, "Who the hell is these Sharpie balls? How'd they get here?" And so uh, it was, <laughs> I mean, everybody knows, you know, we've had this conversation on my Facebook page, you know, everybody knows that Sharpie balls are not what you want, you know, but uh, I don't know. It was just a super, super cool signing. And if you ever get a chance to meet Willie Mays, uh, I would definitely highly, highly recommend that he's getting up there in age and his stuff is just going to be pow, skyrocketing, um, unfortunately, once he passes, but that's just the nature of the game. But he is just, he's one of those guys that you should get now. If you've been dying to get a Willie Mays item, like get it now. Like 
Man, I've got jerseys at like four forty nine right now, JSA certain. And uh, I can just imagine those being a thousand plus bucks. I mean, the people that I sell them to now are just going to be, uh, oh man, they're going to be in heaven, you know, uh, when the value of that thing shoots up, you know, it's just going to be crazy, you know. Um, but he's one of those guys, man, that just uh, signed a little bit there and hasn't signed in a while. And at least quality items and authentic items, you know. I'm sure you guys have heard about, you know, the, the Willie Mays hologram, and I haven't heard the full story on that. But me personally, I would. Stay away from any items that have just his little sticker on there. You want to make sure that you get something that is, is JSA or PSA or Beckett certed. Um, there was, I guess, there was some issue with these holograms, and, and who knows what happened. So some of them are good. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are, are are not good. So when I see that, I'm just I'm staying away. So I would advise you to do that too. But just make sure that you, when you pick up a Willie Mays autograph, that it's got some sort of third party authentication with it. And uh, that's, again, of course, you study on, on Willie Mays' autograph, what it looks like and, and how it flows and all that good stuff. So, But uh, anyways, that's the show for today, guys. Thank you again for tuning in. I hope you guys are finding this information useful and fun and, and, and exciting, you know. So I, I'm having a blast doing the show. And make sure, again, you guys, you guys hit the subscribe button wherever you're listening to this uh, to on YouTube or Stitcher, SoundCloud, wherever you guys are at. And also check out the website, Powers Sports Memorabilia. Dot com. If there's anything I can help you guys with, please go ahead and shoot me an email, matt at powersportsmemorabilia.com, or you can give me a call on the telephone, 650-888-7915. Thanks again, guys. Peace.